Okay, what we have here is the graph of f prime, not the graph of f of x. If you're given the graph of f of x, try to answer questions like where's, where's the relative max or relative min, those, those will be easy questions. What makes this question challenging is that the graph you have is not the graph of the original function f of x, it's the graph of the derivative of f of x. Now, um, although it's pretty hard to figure out the original function f of x, um, you can still gather a lot of information about the original function just by knowing the graph of f prime of x. Uh, for example, uh, before 4, do you see that f prime is positive? What does that mean for f of x? If f prime is positive, what do you know about f of x? It's increasing, right? And between 4 and 6, f prime is negative. What does that tell us about f of x? It's decreasing, right? And after 6, it's positive, so uh, the, the function f of x is increasing. So putting all that together, you can actually figure out that the relative maximum will happen at x equals to 4 because it's increasing before 4 and decreasing afterwards. I mean, think about it. If you have a, uh, at, at 4, if, if the function is going up and then after 4 it's going down, what is this point? That must be a relative maximum, right? Okay, and the same, same kind of uh, logic can be used to show that this place 6, x equal to 6, it will be a relative minimum because that means uh, this being negative and then f prime being positive means that the function before 6 is decreasing and then after 6 it will be increasing. That's what we Okay, what about the inflection points? Well, inflection points are points where the concavity changes, right? You, you go from concavity up to down. Um, it's, it has to do with concavity. And uh, if f double prime does exist at the inflection point, f double prime has to be zero. Right? <coughs> f double prime has to be zero at inflection points uh, if, if it's differentiable everywhere. And uh, since this is a graph of f prime, what does it mean for f double prime to be zero? It, f double prime is the slope of, of the graph of f prime, so you're saying the slope is equal to zero. In other words, you're looking for places where you have a horizontal tangent. Now, f double prime being equal to zero is something that's necessary, but it doesn't guarantee that it has to be an inflection point. Uh, there, there are some special cases where you do have f double prime zero, but it's still not an inflection point. To guarantee that it's an inflection point, the, the value of f double prime has to change before and after. So what's the value of the f double prime before 1? f prime is decreasing, so its derivative is negative. After 1, f prime is increasing, so the derivative is positive. So f double prime went from negative to positive. What does it say about f of x? We went from concave down to concave up. So was there a change in concavity? Yes. Okay. So inflection points will happen at x equal to 1. And for the same reason, there's a, as long as you see that there's a change in increasing, decreasing in this graph, that, that says that there's a change in the sign of f double prime, so it's going to be an inflection point. So x equals 1 is one case, x equals to 3 is one case, and x equals to 5 is another case. So we actually have three inflection points for this graph. Okay. Now find the intervals where fx is concave up. All right, for concave up, we will think about the smiley face as concave up, uh, which means the second derivative has to be positive. So that's what we need, f double prime has to be positive. That means the derivative of f prime has to be positive, which means f prime should be what? If the derivative is positive, the, the function is? 
increasing, you can have the function negative and still increasing, okay? Uh, the derivative is being positive has nothing to do with the original function being positive or negative. Okay. It only tells you that the function uh, is increasing. So this is this is increasing. Okay, so let's figure out the points where the f prime is increasing. I see this part here, right? And there's another part here. So what is the interval? One through Three. Okay. And then five through infinity, right? And it is, this arrow means that it extends in the same manner. 